Hey guys, it's Dan with Adventure Day. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and hit that bell. Um, today we're here to talk about Goodyear tires. Um, I've got a, a 2020 Ram 1500 Laramie with a 5.7 liter Hemi V8. It's a beast of a motor. All right, guys, I want to talk about these tires here real quick. These are Goodyear Wrangler, if you can see this, Goodyear Wrangler Fortitude HT tires. Fortitude HT tires. Um, these are highway truck tires and they are quiet. So I'm going to show you here in a couple minutes how quiet they are out on the highway. In fact, why don't we just jump to that right now? Wow, okay, so continue on here with these Wranglers. Like I mentioned, uh, they are quiet tires. Um, you know, we're getting about a 61, 62 decibel level uh, from these tires, which is amazing on the highway. I'm doing, doing 65 miles per hour. There's no wind. Um, you can't hear a whole lot of wind noise around the mirrors. I'm gonna shut up here. I mean, they really did a good job designing this ram i mean there's the, the mirrors are basically silent which is where you tend to hear some noise in pickup trucks the main sound is actually coming from the tires but that sound is so low i mean it is i mean you can just whisper in here and hear people talk it's just they're they're it's a really really quiet vehicle so this is this vehicle's got the 5.7 liter v8 it's got a dual exhaust uh, it sounds great when you accelerate. If you can hear that, but boy, it's got some nice little uh, sports car sounding bark to it. But the tires are just such a great compliment to how well engineered uh, Ram did with this 1500 uh, pickup truck. Now this is the Laramie, so it doesn't have all of the uh, you know, features and probably sound deadening materials that you would get in one of their higher trim models. Um, you know, for the Ford people, this is like a Lariat. This is a mid, uh, mid trim level truck. It's got some nice features on it, not all the features. And, um, but these tires are quiet. So Goodyear's done a really good job at these tires. I can't really speak to longevity and so forth, but I can speak to how well they have um, performed, especially like during straight line acceleration numbers and, and tests like that. They uh, do a really good job gripping the road, and uh, but they're quiet. So looking forward to um, telling you some more about it here in just a second. Okay, so you got to feel for how quiet these tires are out on the highway. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the tread because an important aspect of a truck tire is how the tread is designed. And there's some little subtleties that you can pick out when you go to purchase tires. I want to talk to you about that a little bit. Number one, traction on tires is very dependent in, in wet and slushy conditions on the sipes. So the shape of the blocks are important, but sipes are also equally important. And some manufacturers will only cut their sipes a few 30 seconds into the tread depth, uh, like Michelin AT2, the LTX AT2s, which um, Ford puts on a lot of their pickup trucks, are very guilty of that. The sipes are very shallow. You also see that in this block of tread right here, which is the second rib in, you can see here that these uh, tread blocks are, I mean, they're only about two or three thirty seconds into the tread depth on the outside of the tread. Um, not very deep at all. Now the next one in, you can see that it goes all the way down. See that? All the way down to the carcass, which, uh, so the center aspect or the center rib on the tire is going to be a full sipe depth uh, uh rib and that's going to give you a lot of traction over the long haul um this one on the outside um like this block right here I've got all these crazy details with you but it's important this side right here does not go all the way down neither does this one um and so you end up losing traction with these over the long haul now you look to the outside rib and these are again once again full depth sipes 
So I would say that, you know, Goodyear has done a halfway decent job with how they've designed the siping on these tires. I like to see these, these uh, sipes go full depth here on these two ribs, but we got full depth on the outside, full depth in the very center, full depth on the, um, the other side of the tire. So inside, center, outside. Um, okay, so that's number one. Number two, I want to talk to you a little bit about this uh, material that's between these tread blocks on the outside. You see it right in there. So that serves for two main purposes. The first purpose is to create some stability in these outside tread blocks for when you go around corners. That rubber helps create a little bit of stability within this tread block. The other reason why it's there is to block noise. So most of the noise is generated on these tires with these center ribs. And by putting these, uh, these are actually, you know, you could call them noise blockers into the the tread. It keeps the noise contained on the inside, which is why we get that really good, quiet uh, experience that I just showed you out on the highway. Is you know the tread design is pretty aggressive. I mean, look at the sipes, look at the blockiness of the tread blocks and so forth. Um, these tires are not soft tires. Uh, they've got a 680 treadwear rating, which is a relatively hard rubber tire. Should last a long time. So uh, that doesn't lend its, uh, itself to being a quiet tire. It lends itself more to being a louder tire. Um, but it's a very quiet tire because of the technology and these sound blockers play a big role. So this is a really popular thing that tire manufacturers are now adding to many of the newer tires that you see on the, the market today are these sound blockers. So a couple of the interesting aspects of the tires. They've got these stepped up, uh, this rib, and the, the, I'll call this the number two rib and the number four rib. The number two rib and the number four rib have this stepped up tread block here, which you can see that. It gets actually a little bit wider the more that you wear down this, tre this tread. So I think that's kind of uh, interesting the way they've designed that. I don't really see a huge benefit to that other than um, having less tread here at the beginning is gonna obviously wear out quicker than if it was thicker. Um, but as this, this tread wears, rubber hardens, and it doesn't wear at the same rate as a tire wears out because the hardening of the rubber that occurs through all the different heat cycles. Um, can't really give you an explanation why it has. I see that there. Maybe it's a way that the tires can grab onto snow um, but I really don't, haven't seen many tire manufacturers use a snow gripping technology uh, on their tires and using that step system. So, uh, but it's interesting. It's something a little bit different. Have not seen that on a lot of tires, but they're really good looking, um, really good looking tires for a highway tire. They seem relatively aggressive in, in my eyes when I look at the design of the tread, the blockiness of the tread blocks and um, the siping and so forth. You know, it's a pretty aggressive highway tire, but it sure has all the characteristics of a good high quality highway tire. It's very smooth riding, very predictable. It grips great um, and it's very, very quiet. So anyway, I think, um, you know, a lot of people will get their trucks and they think that the tire manufacturers skimp out a little bit when it comes to rubber. Um, Goodyear, in my mind, makes okay passenger car tires but they do a really nice job with their truck tires. You know, they're, they're, they're maybe they're not the top of the line tires out there, but these are really good, high quality, long wearing, quiet tires that Goodyear has, uh, has designed. So anyway, with that, quick little review. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for being here today. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, and share with your friends, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks a lot, have a good day, bye. the Greyhound to Chicago I've got all my bags packed up ready to leave